Hi, I'm Pablo Lewin, and I am the owner of the Maury Lewin Observatory in Glendora, California. And uh, it's a research level 14 inch telescope uh, observatory, and I usually do exoplanet work and sometimes pretty pictures. But uh, what I do first is I run th the images through a program called Tycho Tracker, which is very fast. And it allows me to see if I picked up any near Earth objects, such as asteroids or uh, NEOs, as they call them, or anything that may be flying around. So uh, I'm going to show you real time how fast this system is. And by the way, you can do it with pretty pictures, pictures of M42, M31, whatever. And you do not need to calibrate it. Uh, once you set up this program, you'll be able to calibrate it. Uh, it the, the program will calibrate the, uh, the uh, images uh, perfectly well without the use of darks, flats, or biases. It does it all automatically. It'll plate solve and detect if there are any objects flying around uh, that you did not intend to image, but they happen to be there. And you'll be able to create a uh, report uh, to the minor Planet Center, and you'll be able to actually report uh, your findings, uh, helping the Minor Planet Center uh, refine the ephemeris of uh, n known objects, and you may even be able to discover new objects, undiscovered objects uh, in, uh, in, in the sky. So without any further ado, let's do the real quick. First thing you go to list, add images, and by the way, uh, the program's already set up. I'm not going to teach you how to set it up. Uh, I want this to be as fast as possible. So here are the lights. They're not calibrated yet. I'm going to go ahead. And, uh, these uh, images are for uh, exoplanet K2-127b, and uh, which I imaged last night on the 29th of um, April. 2022. So I'm going to select all of these selected. Next thing I'm going to go action and I'm going to go express mode. What express mode is going to do, which is already set up, is calibrate, resize, resize, uh, align, and place all the images to be uh, used to detect any object. So go ahead and start. You see how fast it is? It processed already. It's aligning the uh, images already. There are 50 images. Okay, it's done. And now it's uh, plate solving. Plate solving started. A solution has been found. This is all real time, by the way. It's done. I'll put located uh, right next to the uh, lights folder. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get rid of this, go to list, add images. I'm going to go to the new folder, lights calibrated. I'm going to select all of them. They're right here. Plate solved. Yes. Total size, exposure, two and a half hours. Okay. So what do we do now? Now we're going to go ahead and action view images. I'm going to get rid of my picture. Nobody wants to see my picture video and as you can see I have the contrast way up so I'm going to lower the contrast and this is the image are there any uh, asteroids in the image that I may have picked up let's find out file load known objects it's computing waiting on results boom it detected one two three four five six seven asteroids magnitude from 17.3 all the way to 23. There's no way my system will be able to detect uh, anything above 19, maybe 19. So I'm going to choose this one here and you can see all the detections right here. But can you really? Let's look at this. First of all, let's pick this one up, magnitude. That's uh, asteroid 22314. Uh, 1991 GV3. I'm going to go ahead and view the stacked image. There's nothing there. Is there? Let's get closer. Let's increase the contrast. Boom! Right there. 
right here. But really, let's add it to the track navigator, which is right here. I'm going to go ahead and verify the track, see if it's real. There it is. There it is. There's an asteroid. I detected it. I'll be able to make a report. Let's look at the next ones. This one here is a magnitude of 18.3. Brainard. Never heard of it. I'm going to go ahead and view stacked image. It's right there. Look, I'm going to zoom in right there. So I'm going to add it to the track navigator. And I'm going to verify the track. It's right there. Let's get a little closer so you can see it. Amazing. Another one. I'm going to go ahead and uh, what about this one? This is a 19.2. Uh, no, 18.7. Let's see if I view stacked image. It's right there. I'm going to go ahead and add it to the track navigator. And you can see it right there. And then finally, let's see if I can uh, pick up a 19 magnitude asteroid. Eh, a little dicey. I'm in Los Angeles County, by the way. So, uh, you stacked. Let's get closer. It's right there. Right there. Let's add it. I don't know if it's going to have the accuracy that it's required to make the uh, add it to the track navigator. Let's go ahead and verify the track. Right there. You can see part of it. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create create observations for each and every one of them, and then we're going to report them. That's how fast this is. This is real time. So, add observations, permanent ID, provisional ID, ID and tracklet ID. It's added it right here. Then I'm going to do brain art, add up observations. Then I'm going to do MY, YM11, 2001 YM11, out observations. And then I'm going to do 2001 BB28, add observations. Okay. And before I create the report, I'm going to verify the accuracy of these observations. And it's very simple to do once the program's set up. View. I'm going to check the residuals with existing observations. And what that's going to do, it's going to bring up the find or program. And it's going to compare the residuals with the uh, other observatories. And my observatory code is U U76. All of them way below 1.0. It's actually below 2.0. You're okay. Higher, I don't want to go, and I certainly don't want to be the worst. So these observations are great. Usually what I do is I choose worst observation, and these are the automated uh, uh, um, observatories. They're not very accurate, but they detect a lot of stuff. But my, my observations are very accurate. I'm going to exit. I'm going to go to the next one. Check residuals. Once again, below 2.0, pretty good. The next one, check residuals. That's 1.5, that's pretty high right there, but all of them are way below. And this one is probably a bad uh, image or a lower quality image, but still with it minus, below 2.0, so it's doable. Certainly not the worst, let's see, is it the worst? No. Not even close.
704, that observatory, it's another one of the automated observatories. So we're okay right there. And then finally, this one, it's like 19.2 magnitude. I don't know. Let's see how accurate this one is. Whoa, getting pretty close, 1.7, but still below 2.0, so I'm going to report it. If you don't want to report it, you can erase these uh, observations, um, but I'm going to report it. So to report, you hit report, generate ATIS report, save to file, choose a place where you're going to save it. Uh, and I created uh, MPC reports, and I already saved it right here. And what I did is I chose one of the NEOs and added in more, and then the date, 2022-0430 UT, uh, which is last night, today the 30th UT. My code, my observatory name, Maury Lewin Observatory, my last name, and the filter that I used, and then I save, and then I uh, send it to the Minor Planet Center, which I already did right here. You choose the file, your email, uh, and then uh, fill this out, submit, and that's it. And you are done. So this is the Tyco Tracker. I hope you like it. Uh, it's a, an excellent program. Uh, it's not very expensive. It's easy to set up. There are tons of excellent videos created by uh, uh, Daniel Parrott, and uh, he does a fantastic job. This guy is simply amazing. And uh, this is how fast it is. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna process these images and try to get an exoplanet curve. So I was able to extract more science, unintended science, out of uh, a scientific, uh, um, set of images that I was going to just uh, get a transit curve, exoplanet transit curve. So now I've reported four minor planet uh, center objects and very fast. And you can do this with old images from, I've done it with images, 10 year old images, and it works just as well. Pretty pictures, you don't have to do science with uh, with the images, you can do pretty pictures, and that's how fast it is. Anyway, I hope you like it, uh, and that's it for me. Have a great day.